FUBAR is Netflix's latest series, and what makes it unique is it's the first streaming series starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. My, I mean, look, if you are a 90s kid and you're seeing Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone, uh, stalwarts of your childhood kicked into streaming. Feel old, right? But what if I were to tell you that the biggest draw for FUBAR, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, is actually its biggest flaw. Before we get into it, I want to give a quick mention to my buddies over at CalderaLab.com. They sent me their latest, the Body Bar. This all-natural soap smells great, and in just one pass develops such a thick lather, you swear you could slip through time. If you're man enough to try the Body Bar, use my promo code FRY15, save 15% at checkout. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Luke Brunner, a recently retired CIA operative, called back into action to rescue an asset who turns out to be his daughter, and they overly explain that they didn't know each other were operatives, and as foolish as that is, have to work together to take down the guy that played the not T-1000 in Dark Fate. It is worthwhile to compare FUBAR to CBS's True Lies series. Look, neither lives up to the 94 original movie but this does have that double life aspect. He's trying to hide his identity from his family. He's using agency resources to spy on ex-wife. But FUBAR has the obviously better production values. Better than a workaday broadcast TV series, but still mid. It looks like a Netflix series that's not called Stranger Things. The first half of the eight episode season is highly predictable, as if the writer strike was in full effect and the AI took over. But the format of reasonably episodic missions with an overarching story is tolerable, though we really do reduce the threat level of the villain because Gabriel Luna is playing it in the vein of True Lies in a show that doesn't deserve it. Because everybody else is an unprofessional joke. The show functions by pairs. The eye in the sky text Barry and Tina, I like them. Travis Van Winkle and Fortune Famester are strong enough of a duo that you would rather see the show revolve around them. Because Arnold Schwarzenegger and Monica Barbaro have no business Business being in a room together. Yeah, Monica played Phoenix in Top Gun Maverick, and look, I've been going back and forth on this wood. See, FUBAR is, instead of True Lies with Helen and Harry working together, it's more like Harry and Dana. But Arnold waited way too long for off-brand True Lies, because the mystique of Arnie functioned when he didn't look like a slouchy silverback John Taffer. By leaps and bounds, the worst we've ever seen Arnold, and it is straight saddening. The 360 motorcycle peel-out, not done by Arnold. We can't get action out of the greatest action star of all time. When he's pushing 76. Playing show doctor here, a better series would have been about Rue and Alden with Arnold Schwarzenegger's Luke being the CIA director. And in doing so, you can holster that I wish Arnold had a bigger role nonsense. Because FUBAR gives Arnold more lines than he had for the duration of his film career. The humor isn't there. There's some element here that just doesn't work. It's like he's gotten worse at acting while being asked to give longer monologues. FUBAR got me to realize something, that these lesser single camera comments comedies in lieu of a live studio audience like to slap goofy music over scenes to signal to the audience that this is supposed to be funny. Clearly the man should have thrown in the towel because if you got Arnold Schwarzenegger but you can't get the physique and the quips then what are you doing? Aside from generic CGI gunfights, automobiles driven with a green screen, and bar none the worst nuke explosion you have ever witnessed. The first and hopefully only season of FUBAR ends with an obvious reveal and the setup for season too, which I have no interest in seeing. But I want to know your thoughts. Was FUBAR eh, mid, or worse? Let me know in the comments below. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.